Hey guys, I'm Kelsey Collins and welcome back to my channel. So like I've said in my last few videos, this month is Pride Month and I am dedicating this whole month to posting nothing but LGBT, <laughs> LGBTQ plus themed videos. That's exactly what I'll be doing today. And I'm actually super excited about this video because this topic is something that when I was first coming out, I Googled it and watched videos on it all the time. I literally had no gay friends. So when I needed advice, like most young semi-closeted gay kids, I went to the internet. So when searching the internet for how to know if she's gay, this is what Google told me. If she has short fingernails, then she's probably gay. If she opens the door for you, that must mean she's a lesbian. Wears hats, beanies, flannels, baseball tees, or baggy clothes in general. If she has tattoos, there's a possibility that she's gay. Short haircut, septum piercing, undercut. <laughs> if she's into Tegan and Sarah, then she's probably gay. If she rolls her sleeves, she must be a lesbian. And last but not least, if she loves cats, then she must also love women. Okay, we're good. So when I would search these things, I would not only use those tips as ways to figure out if a girl was gay, I would also try to incorporate them into my mannerisms or how I dress. And I get that they're literally just trying to help, but these tips are so stupid. Because I've dated so many girls. Okay, not so many girls. I've dated so many girls. But I've dated several girls who do fit the stereotypes. Like, they do have tattoos, or they do wear hats, they do roll their sleeves. But I've also dated several girls who have long hair, long fingernails, don't have tattoos, dress super, super feminine. Lesbians come in all different shapes and sizes, and there's a garbage truck passing. So in this video, I am just going to be telling you guys the things that I do or look for when trying to figure out if a girl is gay or not. And like I said, it doesn't always work. The first and most important thing, in my opinion, is eye contact. This is the best, easiest way to tell if a girl also is into girls or if they're just interested in you in general. For example, if I'm bartending and a girl sits down and she orders a drink from me and she just looks up and then looks down, she's probably not interested. But if she is ordering her drink and she's locking eyes with me and she doesn't look down and she kind of smiles, then it could mean that she's interested. But it could also just mean that she's polite, I don't know. <laughs> I will never ever film a video in front of a window ever again. Number two, this does not apply to everyone. I know a lot of lesbians who do not have tattoos at all. A good way to know if a girl is gay or not, or to send signals to other people that you might be gay, is an equality tattoo or like a rainbow tattoo or something like that. And now I have both. I have an equal sign on my pinky and then I have a rainbow on my elbow. And it's just a way for me to drop subtle hints that I'm into the ladies. And if there's no possibility of you ever getting a tattoo, you could always wear like a bracelet that is rainbow colored or something. I know I did that before I got tattoos. Okay, my third tip is something that I'm so guilty of. Normally this is the first thing that I do if I'm curious about someone. You gotta look at who she follows on Instagram. If she's following like a lot of gay YouTubers or just a lot of profiles that have like rainbows by their usernames or the gay flag, she might be gay. And that's also a good way to hint that you're gay. Put a little rainbow or something next to your username. Tip number four. This is another one that I've done before. If your crush is someone that's in your friend group or someone that you see often at parties or in a social environment, you could always suggest to play like a drinking game at a party or something with them and play something like Never Have I Ever and you could say, Never have I ever kissed a girl and just see if she puts her finger down or not. I have definitely done this before and I've definitely had someone do this to me and I think it's brilliant. This next one is a super obvious one. Dating apps. If they're on a dating app, it almost always lists what they're looking for and what they're interested in. So if you're having a hard time meeting girls or if your gaydar is just broken and you're tired of trying to figure it out on your own, then there are always dating apps that will sort it out for you. And last, 
last but not least, if none of those tips worked for you, you could always just ask her. I know that is easier said than done, but you could save a whole lot of steps by just asking her or ask her friends. I mean, the worst thing that could happen is that she would think that you were gay and well, if you're wondering about her, then you probably are. Hey. Hey. <laughs> like I said, these signs obviously don't apply to everyone. Unfortunately, people don't walk around with gay written on their forehead. Wouldn't that make life a whole lot easier? If you are not subscribed to my channel already, please go do so and comment below some things that you guys might want me to film this month or in the near future. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.